Hey, hey friends, Patrick here, Avid Max, Tying Tuesday. Going Fly Tying 101 today with Zebra Midge. Gotta have them in the box, midges everywhere all throughout the year, but today with a little twist. We're doing it jig style. That's gonna be our finished product, that's how she's gonna ride. So, without further ado, let's get her going. We begin with the ceremonial crushing of the barb, as is tradition. Set my hook. Today, Umqua XT500, size 18, just the jig 60. Any jig you like, any jig that's your favorite, it'll make do. Bead, fire hole, birthday suit, 2.5 millimeter. Not quite silver, not quite black, just kind of gray. Naked tungsten, good stuff. Gonna tie it in black today. Gonna go with UTC. 70 black. For a zebra midge, you'll definitely also want them in red. Fish the red ones in the slow water. Here we go. Settle the bead. Get her going. And the idea with this one in particular, we're going to keep it as thin as we possibly can. So, migrating my thread back. And midges usually have a little bit of curve to them, so I'll go down the hook, bend a little bit, not terribly too far. One of the reasons I like the UTC for this application in particular, is you can get it to lay very, very flat. There you go, you see that? So it's gonna start laying flat for me. And this is a great pattern to practice and refine your technique. If you're a beginner, start with something like this. You're always gonna be fishing some sort of midge pattern. So this is a good one. Sharpen your skills. Give the fly the attention it deserves. Be purposeful. Okay. For this one, traditionally, it's done with silver wire. We'll do a little Black Beauty flavor. So we'll go UTC small copper. And the wrapping will be made much easier and much more elegant if your wire is nice and straight and flat. So if you've got kinks in it, maybe from the way you keep it, straighten out the length that you're gonna be using before you start tying. It'll make the final product much more elegant, much more professional looking. wire with a wrap, pull it back right to where we need it, and start going. Give your bobbin a little whirl, make sure your thread is still coming out relatively flat. Keep good tension on that wire, it'll keep it from getting all squiggly along the hook shank as you're tying it back. Don't go that far. And then give the bobbin a spin again, keep that thread flat.
Quick little whip finish. Get things out of the way for the wire wrapping. is another spot where attention to detail will pay dividends. Keeping your wraps nice and consistent, nice and even, clean as you can. Take it slow. It's a good one to practice on. the head secure the wire once around twice around thrice around and we can helicopter it off a couple more wraps build up a little bit of taper right at the head maybe even it out a secure fly maybe one whip finish will fail maybe two will fail not three though there we go take my take my handy dandy sword here get yourself a sword like you can see right back there handy dandy flame just a quick touch gets everything back in order nice and cleaned up could leave it just like this but for a little out of extra security extra durability a little profile enhancement we'll go with Solarez bone dry plugs the good stuff for all your paragons. This is the one you want. Quite a bit on there. We can always dab that off, not a problem, but I'll probably want to keep it just to make sure. I got a nice sweep right at the bead. There we go. Make sure to get all your bubbles out as well. On occasion, they'll build up as you're laying down your resin. Best way to control that. Keep your applicator close to the fly. Just touch them out as you go around. There's a couple. The idea here to build a nice taper, get it nice and level right there. Looks like almost all my bubbles are pulled out. Once we got the profile, Come in with the UV light, cure it all out. As you can see, I went a little hog wild with the resin, completely gummed up my thread, my hook eye. Not too much of a problem there. Okay. 
handy dandy nail clippers, clear it out of the way. And then I can use the hook point from the previously made fly. Clean out the eyelet right there. All good. Make sure the UV is really, really cured on there. Zap it one more time. And that's it. Job's a good one. Jigged zebra midge. Nice and slim. Good taper on the head. As they say, that fly will fish. That dog will hunt. So yeah. Tie a couple up. You're going to need them out there. Midges are everywhere. All year round. All the waters. If you like this one, like and subscribe give us a thumbs up it really helps out and even if you don't like it like but like and subscribe give us a thumbs up we'll see you out on the water friends tight lines <laughs>